Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So I did a pancake and bacon and coffee and yogurt. So I made that chicken pot pie last night. So I think Sunday, because I don't want pot pie again tonight. Or uh, it, Yeah, today's only Friday, isn't it? Pizza night. I don't have to cook. Either Saturday or, sun, or Sunday, because it's Ian's weekend off, we'll, uh, we'll do that pot pie. Because Green Bay plays Sunday at 2. So it would be, it would be before that for sure. It would be lunch time. And around lunch I'm thinking. Because the farm that's cooking supper, she works Saturday, but she don't work Sunday. She'll probably she'll probably have next weekend off next Saturday. Because she. They switched her and the girl Saturday, so I think that's why she's working this Saturday. PD day, no school. Nia's in bed. Leah went, she came here. Her and her friend didn't want to eat. Had the pot pie ready, but I said that I, because I know her friend's fussy, I was going to do them chicken nuggets or something, and her friend texted her mother to come get them, so, right away sort of thing, so, excited, eh, to go out and, anyway, so she took off. Every year she was a witch, but this year she was a vampire. But I had a hood and the dress was really nice and got a hood and whatever she did with her makeup and but anyhow so they went out around her friend's place and then Ian went and got her and she, she ate some pot pie she got a bunch of candies so. Got a bunch of candies. I think it was like two, two bags full, not full, but quite a bit. That could be chips and that too. I didn't look at them. They took them in a room. Yeah. I seen Jason Claire's uh, costume on. Uh, Facebook, but um, they were store bought, but I don't know what they were. Whatever Wendy is on uh, Adam's family or whatever, the, whatever I think she was dressed like Wednesday, and he had a costume with um, had black and mm, black hair, and then like a silk black and black uh, thing and then a, a jumpsuit sort of thing but I don't know what it was I don't think it, it wasn't a ninja anyway I didn't see or I wasn't talking to her 
They went to their school, had a party. I don't know how they get there, but there's houses all along. If she walked, they could have went. How far down is this from the LRC? Middle school. I think it'd be too far to walk. But after the school party, they could have went door to door. I know Jace would do it. Like, mm, but I don't think Clara would. They could have went in and around their place before. There's houses around there. Before when they went to the party too, I don't know. They could have got they could have got a lot of treats too. Hard to say. Activities and they probably had a good time. Oh, I never ever went to the school parties, Halloween parties. I wanted to go out and get treats. And the next day, I heard everybody complain while well, they had a good time, but they didn't get no treats, right? Just a little bit, not a couple bags of tip. I think mom, she wanted the treat, so of course she's gonna. So anyway. Wanda Storm. Yeah, another PD day, which which I I can see it with Halloween people, kids excited and Can't get to sleep after doing all that, eating all that sugar and everything. And now I understand this PD day, but Years is key. Someone's talking about me. It's early in the morning. Tonight. Yesterday felt like a Friday. All this traffic and how busy it was. I was thinking it was Friday all day. I watched the rest of the rest of that Bad Man show. Bad Men. Must have been seasoned. They could do an eight. Just bring them back together again. Mm. 
but it's sort of like suits. They brought, I don't know if it's back on right now, they were talking about it. Let's bring the main characters back. We don't need Rachel. Because her mic went away. Because I always say that she passed on. Or they got divorced or something. They can't kill anybody out of a soul. Unless soap opera, they'll come back to life. Green Bay. Okay, I, I missed that fourth quarter. Love entered his knee again or whatever it is. Ankle, knee. The other guy there, the Lawrence guy. I like him. They won by three points, so I don't know what the story was. They do. They. I know they were doing pretty good. Was first and second quarter, and I ended up passing out. Missed the third. Woke up for part of the fourth. I seen what the score. I said, I seen what the score was, but I had to go to no, no field or Walmart. The phone that was leaving, and I. And I had things to pick up, so I had to go. Went and done my shopping, figured I had enough time. Was done, because it takes her forever. Anyways, so I, uh, I ended up missing it and seeing the score. But I remember seeing him limping. I got his leg injured. I remember that now. I just crashed out. I said, oh, I'll just take a nap for maybe an hour. No, I crashed out. Anyhow, at least they got a backup. That orange guy or whatever. At least I got a backup if something happens to love. They have a good backup. See? They, what they should have to do is a full, full physio, physio, um, I mean full. They got the money, do everything, MRI, everything, before every game, a complete physical, because that other quarterback there, he was, he's young, and he shouldn't be a problem. With him having because you know, okay, he they probably do a physical, of course, and they get tested and they eat right, they got uh dietrician, they do their exercise, they do got their nutrients, they got their vitamins, blah blah blah. The runners and the quarterbacks and stuff, okay, now. That guy from, I forget what team, Ian was telling me, on his channel there, he does it every, I see him in the morning. Anyway, he happened to hear it while I was going by, that he had to sit down and couldn't breathe and everything. It could be a hundred different things. And people was talking about it, but <clears throat> they should be more concerned about his house. You know, so negative. 
because they could even be a spot on his lung in the back that you wouldn't see. Like, I mean, I'm talking a, a physical before every His arteries, doesn't matter how old you are. Jim's friend there at work, look what happened to him. It, it was hereditary. His father passed away early. His father's father was just hereditary. And Alan, I couldn't believe it. I could, I could not believe. Because he jogged. He went hiking. He walked to work or biked to work. He ate right. His wife was a dietitian, so he didn't eat uh, processed or fatty meats and, and sugars and, and um, just just uh, healthy like everything he done was healthy and in a week I seen him a week later they had to, his arteries was completely clogged I guess and they had to put balloons down in there and open them up and whatever they did I seen him and he looked like he was 40 years older like because he wasn't even 40 he was only in his early 30s no because I had Jenny 31 she was about so 35 36 almost 40 but still he looked 80 he looked 80 didn't smoke didn't drink I guess the doctor said that his arteries look like someone that's overweight, like over obese, eat a lot of McDonald's and fast foods, smoke, drink, don't exercise. Like, So you never know. He started getting out of out of win. Noticed the little things, but I don't think he took a stroke or heart attack. But he just started getting tired and had a hard time jogging and running and walking, and you know a difference, right? I think that's what happened with my uncle when he, my my aunt always cooked, always baked and everything. She's the one that always left her door open and a pot of coffee and a, and always had some type of sweet on the counter. When she, every day she would walk to the mailbox or post office. But and then she stopped to see her sister. Sometimes they'd go out to eat and whatever or they eat together. And then walk back home. And, um, but she done a lot of baking and everything. But when her sugars went up, she didn't do so much. As I got older, she kept, she didn't do that much. Cookies and, anyways, um, so when my uncle retired, He probably ate a little more and stuff like that, of course, you know. But he didn't drink. He didn't smoke. Worked every day of his life. Now, when he retired, he probably done less moving around. But my aunt would make him walk to the mailbox with her every day, or post office every day. And then one day he was... <coughs> Uncle Ernie there. They were walking back up home. Up, and there's a little hill. It's not that bad. Not bad of a hill. But a little incline. He had to stop. Because he couldn't. He lost his breath. He couldn't move. He couldn't walk. And it wasn't like it was plus 40 out. Or anything like that. 
course, he took them to the hospital, and they had to, they had to do heart surgery or whatever they do there with the. Now my grandfather, he, he, he was Pentecostal on mom's side, and he never drank, never swore, never smoked. Definitely he didn't eat any French fries or something like that. He'd eat his potatoes and his, he'd have fruit and vet, or mostly vegetable, more vegetable than fruit, I think. And his meats, and he, you know, never smoked. But he died of lung cancer, so. Okay, he was around a lot of coal and stuff like that, but still, you know. So that's my rant. I'll decide. We do the meat pie Saturday or Sunday. And then I think me and La Fonda will do the lasagna one next weekend. I'll find out what other ones when I go into Walmart. There's a few of them. They do have the shepherd's pie. And I do shepherd's pie on Wednesday. So. But I could do shepherd's pie on a Tuesday. And then by the time Saturday comes. I could do that too. Mm. She'll be getting up soon. So. I had a whole lot going on today. I, I used to like going out with the kids trick-or-treating and then I bring a mask and if I want a couple I would go in and when there's a big crowd and go like this and hand my put my arms out with the bag because they're just they don't see who's doing what. And a couple of chips and a couple but anyway I bought a bar Went to No Frills last night at a bar. Anyhow, so you guys all have a good day and stay safe and a cigarette time.